Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Plain Strains Everything and welcome to Edinburgh. Tonight I'm staying at the Four Points by Sheraton here in Edinburgh. It's a chain which most people have never heard of in the UK. It's pretty rare. Back in my corporate travel days, I used to sell a shed load of these hotels. Uh, mainly, mainly in the United States, sometimes in the Far East, but mainly in the United States. In fact, if I had a pound for every time I'd booked a Four Points by Sheraton, I wouldn't be staying there tonight, I'd be staying somewhere classier. Anyway, up until the summer of 2023, there was only one in the UK, and that was at Gatwick. But in August 2023, a second one opened here in Edinburgh, and that's why I'm staying there tonight. Now, I'm staying here with my son, Blair. There's my son, Blair, in the background there. Question for you, Blair. So we've got two options. We can either stay here in the city centre and wander around for a while, or being three o'clock, we can head straight to the hotel, check in, relax, go out later, have a meal, and maybe an amber nectar. What do you think? Straight to the hotel. I thought you might say that. He's a good lad. Right, to get to the hotel, we have to catch one of these things. Worth mentioning the Four Points by Sheraton Edinburgh isn't actually in Edinburgh, it's here at Haymarket. But this is a really good location for public transport. You've got the trams every couple of minutes to head into the city centre and beyond to New Haven. In that direction they head to Edinburgh Airport. From here you can catch CityLink to the Glasgow Buchanan bus station. And over there you've got the railway station, trains one stop to Waverley Station and the trains to Glasgow Queen Street. Right, let's find our hotel. The Four Points by Sheraton Edinburgh was once known as the Apex Hotel and they changed hands in August 2023. It's still a four-star hotel, although Marriott, who owns the chain, would describe it as mid-range, whereas a Sheraton is upscale. And just to confuse matters, apparently three places in the UK have been earmarked for Four Points Express by Sheraton. How confusing. I reckon they've got someone who wakes up in the morning and thinks, you know, we haven't had a new chain of hotels in our portfolio for a, for a couple of months. Let's think up a new one. Anyway, let's go. This hotel has got 69 rooms. It's got an Italian restaurant and a bar, which for a nightcap, we might have to test out for research and information purposes. I was looking at TripAdvisor to see what they said about the Four Points by Sheraton Edinburgh, and it's only got eight feedbacks. But the feedback so far is decidedly meh. I looked on booking.com and they have had 215 reviews and it gets 7.8 out of 10, which isn't too bad. But what lets the hotel down is the fact value for money. This is 82 pounds a night and it's not too bad for Edinburgh prices, but for what you get, people seem to question it. One of the other complaints that they get is the rooms are so warm. There's no individual heating control in the room itself. So we'll have a look. I think we should get inside. No. It smells new. How did you know, How did you know that? We managed to get an upgrade from a compact double to a standard twin. So I'll give you a quick guided tour around the room. There's a very large television with our name on it, a desk, a kettle, um, oh look at that, loads of tea and coffee, a nice seat, It's leather and of course down here we have got the USBs power points right next to the bed. Let's try the bed. Quite firm, quite bouncy. 
And while I'm here, let's check out the view. If we can make our way through this curtain. Wow, this is a big curtain. Here we go. We have got the much sought after view of the main road outside. But that'll be fine. And the windows open as well. We have a wardrobe here and inside ironing board with an iron, hair dryer, yep a hair dryer and on the other side very hard to see in a black cupboard proper coat hangers and what looks like kind of a fold out you can't see it it's a fold out table for resting your luggage on Okay, I'm going to relax for a little while. Blair's already doing it. We'll go out, have something to eat, maybe a drinky poo, and then I'll do the cleanliness test. I brought my UV torch with me. We'll see how clean this place really is. The room has a hint of being very corporate, but then this hotel does cater for single travelers on business. They've also got meeting rooms as well. That's why it's a little bit on the dark side. I do like this table, quite a cool design. Are you happy with the room, Blair? Yeah. Okay. There should be free Wi-Fi here as well. Unlike the travel lodge, it lasts all night. It doesn't last 30 minutes. Extra towels, extra blankets. What's that? Yeah. Actually, let's put try something here. Mm. Just gonna open this up. And there you go. And a Gideon's Bible. And what do you suppose is in here? Dun, dun, dun. Hey, it's a mini bar with nothing in it. Blair found an iPad. Let's see what it says here. Welcome. It tells you all about the facilities here and why you should join Marriott Bonvoy. Explore breakfast. I was wondering how to switch this light on. Very hard to see, but there is actually a switch there. A black switch against a black background. Boom, and there it goes. This hotel caters for business travelers and meetings and events, and you can tell by the decor. It's very corporate. Black kettle, black lamp, dark wooden finish. The dark wood, although I do like the green leather, I do like that chair. Again, dark wood, dark brown, or at least brown headboard. Feature wall, which is a kind of a charcoal gray. Dark wooden floor. And the wardrobes, all very corporate. Time for the bathroom. Keep in mind that this property is only perhaps five months old. It is, of course, in very good condition. Yeah, very nice. So we're going to go out for a walk, do a bit of exploring, and then get something to eat. And here's something that Blair's discovered. By scanning a QR code, you can actually adjust the temperature. Many people say you can't change the temperature in these rooms. Yes, you can. A quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark, who always keep me safe when I'm on the road. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network. When traveling, I tend to use the free Wi-Fi, which is very convenient, but also very, very dangerous. As anyone can access this shared Wi-Fi, it's possible for nasty people to hack your device and steal your personal data. Surfshark encrypts all of your online data, keeping you safe and secure. Surfshark also allows you to change your IP address. So if you're overseas, you can access UK TV programs as if you were back home in Blighty. My favorite aspect of Surfshark is you can use IP addresses in reverse. Supposing you're in the UK and you want to watch Germany's big football match of the day, Energy Cottbus versus Karl Zeiss Jena, who play in the fourth tier of German football. 
If I try to access the match online with TV station ARD from the UK, I'll receive an error message reminding me I'm outside of the fatherland and so watching the game is verboten. Can you imagine my disappointment? But by simply changing my IP address to a German one, suddenly this live game is available to be watched in the UK. In case you're interested, Carl Zeiss Jena won 2 0. If you use my promo code and click the link in the description below, you will get access to an exclusive Surfshark winter deal up to six months free. So thank you Surfshark for keeping me safe and keeping this guy out of a job. Right, let's see how clean the bathroom really is. One complaint that people have about this hotel is the bathrooms don't have any hooks. So if you're taking your clothes off, you have to leave them on the toilet. Right, let's see how clean things are. That's a bit dirty there. Yeah, that could be cleaner. Yeah, not the cleanest of bathrooms. Right underneath the uh, wash hand basin is absolutely filthy. As for the shower, yeah, it hasn't been cleaned very well this. It looks clean, but up close, I don't think this has been given a, a clean for a little while. What is that? There's been a sticker there. One thing I forgot to do, we have a faulty light there. How clean is that shower head? Absolutely spotless. Blue's going in to have a shower, so let's see how clean this place really is. Yep, that's been dusted. How about the top of the TV? Yep, spotless. Let's have a look inside this kettle. A couple of little marks, but yeah, relatively clean. Absolutely no dust as far as I can see on this lamp. Not sure if I like the spoons on the bottom of the cups like that, but hey ho. Let's check the bed here. Any signs of dust? Nope. Absolutely spotless. Totally clean. Absolutely nothing. Firstly, let's just check around the front door. Yeah, kind of weird looking splotches. I don't know what they are. By the light. What are those things? Right, down by the kettle. It's a little bit messy. Hmm. And the table itself, not the cleanest. Let me just lick my fingers, which is probably not healthy, but I'll, I'll see if this wipes off. Yeah, so it's probably just some sort of dust or something. So overall, this room is pretty clean. And that's what you expect from a room that's just, what, six months old? Yeah. Great, great hotel. I like it. Blaze just informed me, he's taking a shower, that the shower gel dispensers are completely empty. Once he's finished, I'm going to double check that. Then I'm going to head down to reception to see if we can get a top up. So the ultimate test will be, how did we sleep? I'll let you know in the morning.
Well guys, it's the morning after the night before. What can I say about the Four Points by Sheraton in Edinburgh? It's a really nice hotel. The rooms are a bit corporate, but then that's the market that it's designed for. But it was spotlessly clean, very functional, and the bathroom was spotless as well. The shower had a really good strong uh, force, and the bed here was quite comfy as well. Unfortunately, it was the invisibles which let the place down. Firstly, we did have no shower gel or shampoo. These bottles should have been checked the last time the bathroom was cleaned. At least the man at the front desk was able to give me a refill, that was something. But uh, the real problem, and I did notice this on reviews before I left home, it's the temperature of the rooms while wow, it's warm in here. Apparently, this is what Blair discovered, by scanning that QR code, you get an app on your phone and you can adjust the temperature of the room. Fantastic modern technology. One slight problem, it only works between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. Most guests are in their room between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. and you cannot change the temperature of your room. The windows do open and you can get fresh air in that way and that's what we had to do. But unfortunately outside you've got the A8 which operates or runs between Haymarket, Corstorphin, Edinburgh Airport and beyond and there's traffic on that road at all hours of the day. So I'm a light sleeper so with that window open I didn't sleep very well. Also the room temperature is about 22 degrees Celsius which means that the central heating kicks in every now and again just to keep it up to that high temperature and there are pipes behind the headboard and every now and again you'll hear the traffic and then you hear a crack, crack, crack and that's the expanding of the pipes so it wasn't a great night's sleep. Anyway we're going to get organised here, I may have a cup of tea and I'll see you when we're outside. I got a funky table but Blair got all the fun stuff so let's have a little look at what he got now that he's moved his stuff away. There's a temperature control guide, we have got our tablet with a rechargeable stand pen and paper, the two Bibles, and what I couldn't see before is a safe and it's big enough to accommodate a laptop. So Blair, yeah. would you stay there again? Yeah. You would? I probably wouldn't, because one of the complaints online were um, it wasn't really good value for money. And for £82 a night, I'm not convinced. I think you could probably do better than the, the Four Points by Sheraton in Edinburgh. The whole idea of staying in a hotel is to get a good night's sleep. And I did not get a good night's sleep there for one reason or another. So having sold the Four Points by Sheraton over so many years, so many times, was I impressed and was it worth the wait? Probably not. The room was lovely, the shower and the bathroom was lovely, but I just didn't get a good sleep and therefore I'd probably give it about an 8 out of 10. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming along on this little adventure with myself and Blair and I'll see you next time.